Hi this is Manage. In this presentation we can know how the solar can be synchronized with DG. Let us consider a system in which 100 kW load with three sources are present. And the sources are. Grid. 100 kW diesel generator. 70 kW solar plant with on-grid inverter. When the load is getting supply from grid, the DG will be in off condition. When the grid is in on condition. Initially the power flows from grid to load and inverter. So overall load that is 100 kW will be supplied by the grid. But when the on-grid inverter gets supply, it starts generating power from solar. And it will start sharing load and load will get 70 kW power from inverter. So that the load will get 70 kW power from solar inverter and 30 kW power from grid. When the grid cut off, the power from the grid stops flowing to the load and inverter and the power from grid becomes zero. As it is an on-grid inverter, it stops generating power from solar. As there is no grid, the DG starts and pumps power to the load and inverter. Initially the overall load 100 kW will be supplied by the DG. After getting supply from the DG, the on-grid inverter starts generating power from solar and shares the load. So that the 100 kW load will be shared 70 kW by solar inverter and 30 kW by DG. For the proper working of DG, minimum 30% utilization of its capacity is required. In this case, the DG is working with 30% of its capacity. So, the system will run properly without any disturbance. For better understanding this concept, we will increase the solar capacity to 150 kW for the above case. Similar to the above case, when the load is getting supply from grid, the DG will be in off condition. When the grid is in on condition, initially the power flows from grid to load and inverter. So initially overall load that is 100 kW will be supplied by the grid. But when the on-grid inverter gets supply, it starts generating power from solar. When the solar inverter starts, 150 kW power will comes from solar. In that 100 kW load will be supplied to load and 50 kW excess power will be exported to grid. In this condition when the grid cut off, the solar on grid inverter turns off and the power in the system will become zero. As the power from the grid is zero, the DG turns on and starts generating power. Initially the power to the load and inverter will be supplied from DG. So the DG output will be 100 kW. But when the on-grid inverter gets supply, it starts generating power. Up to 70 kW solar power the system will run properly. But when the generation is more than 70 kW, the DG starts fluctuating frequency and voltage, because the load on DG is less than 30% of its capacity. When the solar power increases more than the load which is 100 kW, the inverter supplies 100 kW to load and the excess power goes to DG. As DG gets reverse power, the DG stops generation immediately. If there is a manual operation of DG, the process end by triping DG. If suppose there is an automatic operation of DG is present, then the DG again turns on as there is no power flow in the system. And the same process of turning on and turning off of DG repeats which is known as DG hunting. So finally we can conclude that for the proper working of DG with solar, there should be 30% of load need to be there on DG and there should not be any excess load from the solar. So we can derive a formula which need to be satisfied to sync DG with solar. And the formula is. Minimum load on site should be greater than or equals to 30% of DG capacity plus solar plant capacity if a system satisfies this condition then the DG will sync normally with solar plant. But when the site fails to satisfy the above condition, then there will be excess power in the system which trips DG and inverter. In such condition, a power controller need to be installed which regulates the power in the system. For the power controller operation, three multifunction meters are required, which are used for DG, solar and load. So when the DG turns on, the power controller continuously takes three meters energy values as feedback, and works on the above logic and generate the control signal to the inverter to generate the less power according to the load variation. 
and it maintains 30% of DG capacity as the DG ratings will be presented in controller. So by installing the controller we can maintain the above condition. So that the system will run properly. By understanding this basic concept we can solve different problems of the DG and solar synchronizing. For any doubts and clarifications, feel free to reach GURUMANOJ81 at gmail.com.